Hello YouTubers. Um, I wanted to pro provide an update of our bucket garden or rain gutter garden growing system that uh, I posted uh, about three or four weeks ago on YouTube just to show the progress, see how everything has uh, been growing. Um, everything seems to be growing really, really well so far. Um, these are a couple of the squash plants. Uh, I think this one is an eight ball zucchini and uh, looks like it's doing good. I see uh, some bugs down in one of the blooms there. We've had honeybees on them so I know they're getting pollinated good because we are starting to get some fruit. Uh, here's one of the yellow squash plants. Um, the two squash plants that I had on either end of this rain gutter uh, got so big that I had to move them over to the other rain gutter and we found something out. We we learned that uh, they may not have been the variety of plant that we originally thought they were uh, because we found that they started to vine rather than bush out. And uh, well you can see here this one has vined out quite a bit and these plants were encroaching onto the other buckets that were in the middle of the rain gutter garden. Um, so uh, you can see those are doing really well. We're very impressed with this system so far. We haven't had to water uh, as long as we uh, keep our water in this tank right here. It self waters and I found that uh, I have to fill that tank up. It looks like about every other week and things will be good. Uh, here we've got a patch of lettuce growing and you can see the bucket is just full and uh, this is mid-July and even though we've had a, a uh, well, we have had a cooler season than normal. Uh, that has not bittered out yet. Uh, this bucket uh, just never had anything planted in it. It's waiting for me to put something in it now. I'll probably do that soon. Uh, this is one that really hasn't done that well. This is our cilantro. And I think it's just because the roots, um, they just don't reach down far enough. And uh, in, in the July heat, we, you can see we do have some moisture a couple inches down, but I think the cilantro roots stay right on the surface where it tends to dry out a little bit. Um, and then uh, this was a bucket that we had another squash plant, just wasn't needed, so I pulled that up. So we'll probably plant that out with something else soon. And then just as an experiment, I did plant a uh, Brussels sprout plant here. And this has been out in the open, and normally around here with our brassica plants, we like to cover up with the agrabon, just because we've got such a problem with cabbage moss and the uh, green cabbage worms. But this one's been out in the open, and it seems to be uh, very, very healthy. The leaves are waxy. I think that's a deterrent for the moss and the uh, worms. But I don't have any, uh, well, we do have one hole there, but it looks like more of a rip than something eating it. Uh, but I'm impressed with this system and uh, seems to be doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So we'll probably uh, try some more experimentation, maybe grow some tomatoes and peppers in it next year. Um, while we've got the cover open on our uh, broccoli plants here, I thought I'd show you. Um, with this Agrabon, we do have much healthier plants. You can see the cabbage moss are not getting in there. And uh, we've got a couple pieces of broccoli just about as wide as my hand. We'll probably be eating that this weekend. So this seems to be working out really well. Um, give it a try. It's a nice organic way of, of growing your brassicas without having to spray any kind of herbicides or pesticides. Um, well, if you enjoyed our video, uh, be sure to subscribe and share our links with other people you know. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.